you guys? Today we're gonna be answering a very tragic question. Interesting question, but very tragic because I don't think this should be a question. That's all I've been saying since the beginning of the season. Y'all didn't want to hear it. Oh, but now you're gonna hear it, okay? The Eastern All-Stars versus the Golden State Warriors. Oh, How is that a question? Okay, let's just dive into it, okay? All-Star teams were released. If you don't know the All-Star teams, you should just Google it. <laughs> It'll pop up, but ESPN uploaded a picture and a simple question. Who would you take? I scroll down to the picture. It says the Golden State Warriors shows the players. Let me look, put it right here. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's actually a legitimate question. You know, that is what's tripping me about this whole thing is that that's an actual legitimate question. Who would win? Now, some people might be looking at this like, okay, Caitlin, you're doing too much. This is not a legitimate question. Well, sweetie, you're wrong, okay? And I'm gonna explain why. First of all, we're just gonna assume that all these players are not just in their prime, but just how they are this year, okay? So, so in this game, they're playing the best that they've played this year, okay? We're not gonna go into it assuming that they're having an off game. That wouldn't really make any sense. So assuming they're living their best lives and they're playing their best games. So you got Steph, Clay and Kevin Durant. Any one of them can get hot at any time, as we know, as we saw. Lakers fans, oh yeah, we cried that night. You're lying if you said you didn't shed a tear every single time. Clay hit like 10 threes in a row. Oh my God. I can't. Did you see that? Oh yeah, I was watering. It was abuse, I'm like, Make it stop, Lord. He didn't answer my prayer, however, I still have faith in him. Any of them can get hot. We know how Curry can get. We know how he can get. You know, when people were looking at the Eastern All-Stars and like saying, no one can score inside on them. Sweetie, we've seen, we've seen Curry get by each and every one of these guys, period. So let's just not act like nobody's gonna score inside ever against this team. We've seen Curry do it multiple times no. against MB multiple times against Ayana, so let's not act like it's impossible. Okay, I already spoke on Clay. Okay, now let's move to Kevin Durant. Amazing offense, and honestly, amazing offense beats amazing defense every time, remember that. I don't think I came up with that quote, but if you don't remember who, who said it first, then it's me. Just put my name there if you use this in an essay. It was me. Amazing offense beats amazing defense every time, so that's just that. Draymond's just gonna do the dirty work. He's gonna try. Very undersized <laughs> compared to the uh, uh, the Eastern All-Stars, but he's Draymond Green, okay? He's gonna be in the mix somewhere, you know? And you got DeMarcus Cousins, okay? Joel Embiid is winning that matchup. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, but if you see how he's been playing this year, Joel is definitely winning that matchup, however, you see DeMarcus Cousins, you know what he's capable of. And even in the limited minutes he's had this year, you know what I'm saying? So, it's not like Joel Embiid's gonna destroy DeMarcus, but still, Joel does win that matchup. Now for the Eastern All-Stars, you got Kyrie. I don't know what else to say about him. Offensive juggernaut, you know, he can cut this defense up like nobody's business. Even though the Golden State Warriors, as we know, has great defense. Campbell Walker, the man, the myth, the legend, Literally mind-blowing talent. We all know about him too. We got Kawhi, lockdown defender, amazing scorer. You got Giannis, you know, he has those extendable arms. He winds his arms out and they grow, it's, it's unbelievable. And then we spoke on Joel Embiid. You know, I feel like some people might look at the picture and be like, duh, the Eastern All-Stars are gonna win, like seriously. But if we're taking it for face value, we're looking at the pictures, everything. Warriors, first of all, off bat have chemistry. And you know that they don't care who scores 50, 60 points. They don't. They will share the ball all day. So already you have cohesiveness and chemistry on your side and that can already boost the team from an eight to a 10. Off rip, just off bat alone. If you have really great chemistry and their chemistry is on a thousand. You see what I'm saying? The East All-Stars, um, no. Mm -mm. I don't think their chemistry would even be close. I'm gonna give that a 65 out of 100. No. You know, you know. Warriors is at 100, East is at 65. No. You know what I'm saying? And that can really hurt you. You can have a bunch of talented guys on a team that don't get along or they don't mesh well on the court. Their playing styles don't mesh. You don't even know. So once again, taking this picture for face value, only information I, I got was, who would you take? So I'm thinking about the Warriors as a team. They played together. They played through championships together. I think that the Warriors could win. Um, but I do think this is a game by game basis. If this was like a series, a playoff series, I don't know who would win. I feel like it would 
it could go to seven games, guys. It's not as clear cut as you guys think. I know y'all are thinking, you know, they got Giannis and Embiid. Any one of them could score at any time. That's the same with the Warriors. Draymond not being able to score as well, I promise you has not been hurting the Warriors. Have you watched them? It hasn't been hurting them like that. They don't even need him to score a point. They don't. Also, if you think that the East may get more rebounds, I'm saying, look, threes cause more than twos. You know what I'm saying? All those threes they pour in, they can get up like this, and, and they can win the game off that. Eastern All-Stars may get more putbacks or more offensive rebounds, but the Warriors are gonna shoot more threes, more consistently. Remember, I'm assuming that they're both living their best lives, both teams. So at their peak, you're not stopping anybody. They're gonna pass to the next person to get the best shot, chemistry on a thousand. So with that being said, I honestly, I don't know y'all. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it is on a game by game basis. And that's the problem. It shouldn't even be this close. This should not be a conversation that we're having. Who would win? Who might, who could edge the other one out? This should not even be a conversation, okay? Let's say the Rockets versus the Eastern All-Stars. Eastern All-Stars are winning that. Uh, the Raptors versus the Eastern All-Stars. You know, even if both teams even had a Kawhi, Eastern All-Stars are winning it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Nuggets versus Eastern All-Stars. Eastern All-Stars are winning that. These top tier teams, Eastern All-Stars are still clearly like ahead, which obviously it should be. They're the All-Stars of the league, right? But in this case, it's actually sort of close. Mind blowing. And that's what I'm saying. That's what's wrong with the team. It really shouldn't be like that. I don't care what you say. They drafted three of them. They're homegrown. They were the ones that cultivated the team. Okay. But we all know what happened after that. Okay. And that was the unnecessary part. That was the part where you lost your credibility. Very tragic. <gasps> However, you guys are amazing. And um, you're scoring 100 points in three quarters. That's just not normal. It's not. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. But um, yeah, I just, it's just crazy to me that this is even a video. We're even discussing that. The fact that it's even a question. I think it could go either way. The game could go either way, let's be honest. So very tragic, but I want you guys to let me know. Comment down below, who do you think would win and why? I need to see why, okay? I read and respond to all the comments. Like this video and also, if you haven't noticed, under the video, you usually can see these hoodies are finally available, guys. I couldn't just keep hearing people ask for them. Literally, when I tell you, I go to an HBCU, so everyone walks around the campus real fly. People been asking me where I got this. I'm like, oh, it's not out yet, oh, it's not out yet. Friends have been asking me back in Cali when I wore it on Christmas Bake. People were asking me, I'm like, it's not out. Text me when it's out, text me when it's out. I was just like, fine, fine, I'll drop it. Someone asked me yesterday, and I was just like, no, I'm putting it there because I'm not gonna, I can't keep doing it. So I'm gonna just put in there, it's literally $25 which some other ones, some other YouTube merch is, is 35 to 50 for a hoodie at least. This is 25, the profit margin for me is this. But I just don't, I'm not trying to make money off of it. I just want people to wear it and be able to have it just because people in the comments have been messing with these so heavily. Y'all been commenting on it and whatnot. So I was like, let me just put them out so that most people can afford it. I just want to see people in them. So once you buy them, please send me a picture with you in it, a video or whatever, but I do also want pictures so I can post them on my Instagram. Cause yeah, that's really what I made them for. I just want to see people in it. I'm not really trying to get rich off of the hoodies or anything. You can say I'm fumbling the bag. I know I could have charged more, but it's $25. So it's pretty cheap, y'all. So go ahead and copy one of these. There's also long sleeve shirt versions of them as well. Those are $15, I'm telling you. It's cheap, so cop it, send me a picture of it. If you don't see it under the video for some odd reason, go ahead and check the link in the description and click that and it'll send you to the store. And yeah, so thank you if you do get one. Thank you in advance for supporting. Um, once again, this is not like making any money or anything, but it really is crazy to see people actually wearing this stuff. Like, I sit there in class going crazy like, wow, somebody actually bought this and like, they sent me a picture of a minute and I need to, post them but I want to post them like sort of all at once so I'm saving pictures so send me one cop you a hoodie tell your friend if you don't want to buy it tell your friend who likes basketball tell them to buy it because I think your overall goes up by 15 I think when you wear these your three pointers go up splash squad you know it's just it just comes with a hoodie so thank y'all so much for watching subscribe to join the splash squad right I'll put it up here check out some other videos down here before the NBA coming real soon I know I've said it but it is it's very long. Thank y'all for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.